Now, your Alaska Link weather for Juno and Southeast. Well, good evening. We are officially now into summer. Now, technically, when it comes down to taking those meteorological stats, we include June, July, and August as our summer months. So technically, we've already started to talk about some summer here building in, and we've been feeling it as we are noting that our temperature is above normal when you average out this month so far by just shy of a degree. But we have started to build a deficit for precipitation, but we are going to see a little bit of a flip here when it comes to the forecast that we have ahead for us into the weekend where we are returning to some areas of some rain showers here looking like fairly light accumulation nothing that's looking to be drenching but it is going to bring back some of those grayer skies at least put some light precipitation up on the board it's also going to be associated with some gusty winds we are watching that a frontal system in a low will move its way through the southeast so that could increase that wind potential especially for the outer coastal regions here of the southeast but still some of our inner channels could deal with some of those stronger winds and then we look to be back to some more of that dryness and some sunshine as we head into the middle of next week. But here as we look into our Friday, high tide will be just around 1249 in the very early morning hours and then around 212 into the early afternoon. We step into the day looking at temperatures still staying mild, mid 60s, not too bad from that average high of 62 degrees, but the chance of rainfall is continuing to grow in. We've had some spotty shower chances here for our Thursday, but the best chance here is coming with a wave of energy that is going to take over as we step into our Friday. And we're watching that most of the accumulation there staying very coastal, but we get some even deeper reflectivities there as we head into the end of day Friday through Saturday morning as that frontal system pushes in. And as that pushes in, that could bring some times of some stronger winds. So especially areas from Sidka through the southern panhandle, note that that's where some of those stronger winds as well as rainfall accumulation will occur with that stronger pull of that Pacific moisture, but still not looking drenching, even staying under generally about a half an inch. We get near a half an inch up through Juneau, our northern panhandle here Haynes through Yaktat with the lightest accumulation, more widely scattered showers. So again, not drenching, but a change up from some of the beautiful sunshine we had earlier this week. Speaking on sunshine, today was our official start to summer, which means that we are now flipping the script and talking about decreasing our daylight. Now, we only lose four seconds here into our Friday, but we know that that number will gradually speed up as we head towards that fall equinox. But 351 is our sunrise, 1008 is our sunset where a day of the gray skies will start to move in. Again, bigger emphasis on downpours to the south, but still looking at keeping a pretty mild environment after some warmer days that we have been experiencing. We've been 70s the last few days. Saturday, again, pretty similar temperatures, a little bit of a cool down to the south where those showers are a bit more prominent, but still mid to upper 60s even here through Juneau and Haines. And then we will keep some of those shower chances at least through early next week before trying to bring in some of those mild and bright skies for our Wednesday, Thursday.